shop. Got a little project here today. We're going to do some furniture reclamation, furniture recycling, whatever you want to call it. I pick this stuff up every now and then when I see it on Craigslist or some of the local Facebook marketplaces. And if it's close by and looks to be in decent shape, I'll stop by and take a look at it. And if it works out, throw it in the back of the pickup. That's what I did with this one. This is actually an Ethan Allen chest of drawers. It's in, it says Ethan Allen right here. This is, so it's made quite well. All the drawers are dovetailed drawers and they're not loose or anything like that. The finish is remarkably good, except for a couple spots you see along here and maybe a little bit down here and a couple spots I'll show you on the top of the, but overall this is in great shape. So what we're gonna do is we're going to finish up some of, clean up some of these rough spots, probably maybe do a little bit of wood filler, some light sanding, we'll degloss it. And I think I'm also going to replace the poles on these. What I'm going to do with this one, we're probably going to paint it some sort of a shabby chic, off-white, uh, whatnot. We actually have quite a few pieces in our house that is just like this. And this furniture is probably much better than a lot of the stuff you can get at Ikea, for example, or what have, what have you. And if you've got the wherewithal to spruce it up a little bit, you can really get some bargains. Just throw it away by new shit. So anyway, uh, that's what we did here. And so I'm gonna go ahead, start working on this a little bit today. It's kind of snowing out, so this is a good indoor project. Like I said, I'm gonna take the poles off. I'll fill these holes probably with a small dowel and then a little wood filler to, and then when we get ready to put new, new poles on it, we'll figure out what looks nice here. Probably some more modern look. But uh, anyway, so let's get started. We'll take these poles off and save them. I don't know, they might be good for another project, or I might just put them on eBay or Craigslist. Maybe somebody's looking for something. You never know before I actually just throw them away. Okay, we've got all of our poles off and you can see what we have here at the, the bottom drawers which are bigger this there are two different sizes of poles these were on the smaller drawers above and the larger ones on the ones below occasionally I've used some of these and they look kind of cool if you want to just spray paint them a contrasting color like a black but I'm not going to use them on the on these I'll hang on to them might have them for another project or like I said earlier might throw them on Craigslist and see if somebody's interested but here I'll give you a close-up of some of the of what we've got here on the front this is one of the areas that's scuffed a little bit you can kind of see right here it's there's a little bit of an indentation right there that we'll have to fill up but a little bit of light sanding we'll clean that right up and you'll see right here it looks like something got spilled on here uh, some junk or something and this looks like it's taking it right down to the to the wood remove the finishing and there's a couple little scratches over here that might require a little teeny bit of wood filler. And then there's another scratch here. But that's pretty much, that's pretty much the only thing that's wrong with this stuff. I'll take the vacuum cleaner and vacuum all this out really good. Then I'm gonna, I'll hit it with some pine saw, clean it up real good. Don't like to have any spiders or things. Actually one time, tipped the damn thing over and reached up underneath here and there was an envelope, it had 300 bucks in it. And that was from a free piece of furniture off of Craigslist. I don't know if that was uh, somebody's stash or what was in there, but it was 300 bucks. So that was all good. Haven't had that happen again. I must say, wherever I got this, I don't really recall, but it's a heck of a lot cleaner than a lot of stuff I've picked up. I've picked up stuff before that I swear to God hasn't been clean in a hundred years. This one's uh, this one looks like they just spruced it up before I picked it up. So that's that's always nice. Less dirt is better than more dirt. All right, got all the drawers out. Got this all cleaned up inside. I went ahead and rubbed it down with uh, some pine saw inside here to get all the dust out. Just wanted to show you, this thing is still in great shape. Normally, a lot of this stuff is loose and, and needs to be re-glued to some extent. And these are all really still very solid. So 
that's great that I'm not going to have to do virtually any re-gluing or anything like that. Likewise, the drawers were all in good shape. This is just one that after it's cleaned up, I think you can see here that uh, drawers are in great shape. All the sides are real nice and solid and the glue is still together quite nice. So all of these are like that. Now we're going to take some deglosser and start taking the gloss off of the fronts of these drawers and that's probably about all I'm going to need to, the, to do to these drawers I think. So let's uh, get started with that. This is the uh, deglosser that I'm using, Imperial Willbond. There's several different brands out there but I picked this up at the Benjamin Moore store and it seems to work really well and really to be honest doesn't require a whole lot so it lasts quite a while. Okay, we've got our first coat of deglossered down. Now, we'll go ahead and start working on some of these spots on the top here. And then, before we get ready to paint, I'll probably do another quick once over with some more degreaser. But now we're going to start doing a little light sanding where we need to do it and fill in some of those spots. Also, before we get to the sand, to the uh, sanding stage, I'm going to, as I said earlier, put some little valves and fill up those holes in the drawers. So let's get started with that. And unfortunately, I checked up underneath here, didn't find any envelopes of money on this one. So out of luck today on that one. But let's carry on. Okay, I've got most of this down a little bit. Basically what some of these blemishes were, I think is, I don't know if it was some wax that was spilled or something. And so I was able to sand those out. There's a couple of other little spots. What I'm gonna do, I'm just going to use some wood filler to get in there. And what I use, I just use the Elmer's wood filler. Sometimes I'll water it down a little bit so it's a little thinner and let it sit in some of these cracks here. We're going to go ahead and spread some just real thin, let it set up good, and then sand it smooth. Sometimes I'll leave it a little bit proud so it has a little... These, this stuff will dry pretty fast when you're just put that on real thin like this. When I was getting this prepped, I used uh, 180 grip sandpaper, which tended to take care of everything that I needed to take care of without being too aggressive in getting through this uh, top layer of veneer here. So I'm looking to, I said it earlier, I was gonna fill these holes these, where the poles were so I can, whatever I decide to put on there, then I won't be uh, hamstrung by have, or having to match these holes. So what I'm going to do is let's take some dowel, rather than fill them totally with wood filler, which would take a while and wouldn't fill properly. I'm going to put a uh, dowel in there and then just leave it a little bit shy here and put a little teeny bit on a wood filler there and then sand it off and it should be fine. But my problem is these holes, that's a quarter inch dowel and that's a little to loose, and a 5 16 inch dowel is, of course, won't fit. So, what do I do? Well, I'll tell you what I did, or what I'm doing. Um, took a 5 16 dowel, chucked it in the drill, like that, and took a piece of 100 grit sandpaper, Just like that, a few times, and I use my caliper here, 20.27, and so I got this dowel to 0.276, so it was in six thousands, and that fits in there nice and snug. Actually, I might do it just a shade more. Still fits tight, but not too tight. It actually comes off pretty fast, to be honest with you, so it's not a uh, real time consuming process.
put an endo here so I can get that other end and try to keep it the same all the way up and down. Perfect. Nice and snug. That's going to work just right. I'm going to put these little dowels in there just that shade shorter than the thickness of this wood so that I can be flush on this side but have a little teeny bit of a dimple on the outside where I can put some wood filler on it. So I'm going to cut those off. Like that. And that'll give me a little teeny bit of a dimple right there. And that'll work just fine. Push that one in. Now of course I'm going to put some glue on these. So that's how we're going to do this. Okay, we've got these ready for this drawer. I'm going to put a little dab of wood glue right here on the edge. Let it soak down there a little bit. I want those to just be dimpled down a little bit below the surface here. So I'm just kind of use my finger touch. Help that I got a little dimple there. So that works out all right. Now, just got to do one, two, about another eight drawers. Okay, we've got all of these holes filled up on all these drawers. It's turned out pretty well, actually. And I was kind of surprised that I was able to get through all these with just one dowel. I'm starting to sand these holes down a little bit here where I put the dowels in and a little bit of wood filler. And I hit this one with some 180 grit sandpaper with my random marble here. And I can still feel a little teeny bit of a depression there after I get these all sanded down. I might have to give it a little teeny bit more wood floor just to make sure that it's not flush because when you paint these you'll see that and that's, you don't want that at all. I don't know if you can tell or not, but what I have here, this is my actually my welding table and people would say why the hell are you using that for woodworking and stuff like that. But it works great, it's very solid and I use these carpet uh, remnants put on here when I work on stuff that I don't want to get scratched up. Works real, works great. Alright, I put a, on a couple of these drawers, I can still feel the indentations where I filled these holes. So I did another little coat of, a light coat of wood filler on here, but now they're smooth and that's nice because when you paint these, if those things show a little bit, it's going to be right where you see it. I don't like that at all. So anyway, next I'm going to do another round of deglosser, this time with some bevelot steel wool on all of the drawers and the main piece here. And that'll get it just about ready to paint. Okay, we've given this a good rub down with some steel wool and deglosser. And you can see how it really picks up all that wax and crap and, and finish that was on there. And we've got these drawers over here, we've done those too. Now, a little word of caution that I found out. Always do the deglosser before you do the wood filler. I've had to do these over again because once I did the deglosser, it dissolved a little bit of that wood filler. So don't do that. Anyway, we're in the middle of a recovery here. Got the uh, some new wood filler on here and we'll go ahead and sand those up. Got everything ready for paint here. Got all those little spots primed. Took some 400 grit sandpaper and hit them a little bit so that they're nice and smooth. And hopefully all those holes where I put the dowels in will not show through the final paint. And this is ready to go. Got our Fuji Semi-Pro 2 ready to go. And our paint. And ready to pour that in the sprayer. And we'll get going.
on the second coat after they set up the deck. We're uh, done with the painting, and I think we did pretty darn well. I've gone through it with my light here to kind of just see. You can't really see any spots where those dowels were, those old holes, so that's good. So that worked out pretty well. Top turned out great. You can see this is where some of those messes were that we started with. And you can see those cleaned up real good. Now we just got to find some poles for it. So we're getting ready to wrap this project up. We've got our new poles. We're going to go one here, one here, one here. All the other drawers get two of them. I'm using a little Craig jig here to get the screw holes properly set. Finding the center. And then you find the center this way as well, so these will sit right in the, these holes sit right in the center. So we got that. Okay, we've got our jig set halfway between right here down to here is halfway between the edges there to that distance. Put a little backer in there. Put our clamp on to hold it. came out and she looked them all over and found that they're all level and in the right place. You can't beat that. We're done. Hope you all enjoyed this little project. Hopefully you got some ideas. If you got any comments, questions, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down uh, right over there I guess it would be. Hope this is helpful to you guys. Send me all the comments you got. Come back again. We'll have another video soon.